X cubes are the biggest part in your PSO2 grind. So now that you've done so many Magots quests and all these other urgent quests, you have a pile load of X cubes, what should we be doing with them? With that, in this video, I'm going to be showing you four important tips you should be doing with your X cube in your end game grind. And of course, most of these exchanges will be done at the X-Cube exchange shop on the second floor of the shopping plaza. And since we usually trade in items for X-Cubes, I have a quick shortcut here to go to that swap shop. So for example, you can have one as well. All you have to do is go to your keybind settings, scroll all the way down to the swap shop, and you can set it to whichever key you prefer. However, since I want it on F2, I can also use the shortcut tab instead and just set it to F2 for the swap shop. And now instead of running to the swap shop, I can just press the F2 key and be good to go. So with that introduction out of the way, let's begin with the first tip, which is going to be the 250% rare drop booster. The 250% rare drop booster is a great boost to your rare drop rate. This booster is definitely recommended to be using during urgent quests to increase your rare drop rate so you can get some nice rare items and things like that. Although it costs six X cubes to buy, you should be able to get that return and even more within the 30 minutes of the booster running. And this is more likely to happen if you're running like extremely hard, maybe even super hard, but you'll most likely get a nice profit and return of X cubes if you're running extremely hard. So there should be never an excuse not to be running this booster unless you're doing really low level content or easy things that don't really drop rare drops or even 10 stars period. So make sure you're always running this booster and make sure you get a net profit so you can actually keep buying these boosters over and over again so you can stay above on your X cubes. As a reminder, you can also stack these boosts as well. So as you can see, I have a rare drop 250 running at 29 minutes remaining. What I'm gonna do is just stack another one on top of that, so I'll just use it. And now it should be showing 59 minutes. The second tip for your X cubes will be the 30% and the 40% augment aids. These tools are what really make and break your augments that get transferred onto different units and weapons. So it's definitely important to stack up your X cube so you can afford all these augment aids so you can do easy upslotting and actually transfer some nice augments onto your units and weapons. If you want more information on affixing, I'll post my guide within the description down below. The third thing you should be doing with your X cubes is getting fun points. More specifically, this would apply for people that don't have premium. With fun points, you'll be able to perform the fun scratch the main reason why you'll probably be doing the fun scratch, of course, is the cosmetics, but the primary reason is definitely the player shop. If you get lucky and scratch a player shop ticket, you'll be able to access your own player shop for three days and be able to play stuff on the market and actually make some money other than just being able to do dailies and weeklies for money. And of course, this will probably only apply to people without premium, since of course, if you have premium, you already have access to the player shops anyways. This will probably be the most important task for free to play players because the player shop can yield some great results in making money. And the fourth final tip is to save every single X cube you get. And of course that's probably obvious, but in the next updates, there's gonna be new weapons that come out that require X cubes to actually get them. So you wanna save up as much as you can. Sometimes it can cost anywhere up to an extra 500 X cubes for a type of material for a certain weapon, things like that. So spend them on the things that I mentioned, but also make sure to keep in mind to save as much as you can as well. And those are my four important tips of what to do with X cubes. I wanted to make this video short and sweet because there's not really much to explain other than what I just stated. So I hope this straightforward TLDR of getting X cubes helps out. The main reason why I made this video is because a lot of people were surprised about augment aids and how you can buy them through the X cube shop. And that's an important part for X cubes. And I assume that can go over some other important X cube ideas as well, just for those new players. So once again, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time. See ya.